Hello all dinosaurs and welcome back to the basement dino dungeon and check this out We have plenty of dinosaur eggs to hatch and some of this we have to drop them into this water tank to reveal the dinosaurs inside And we have a gigantic dinosaur eggs full of surprises inside So I'm super excited, plenty of new figures to show to you guys So let's get started Okay guys, let's go! Let's open this up and have a look. So this is basically from Takara Tomi and we are supposed to like cut this open and then we will drop it right into this our um, water tank to reveal what dinosaurs are actually inside. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so you can see this egg right over here. Let's just drop it into the, um, the water tank and just wait for it to like um dissolve in the meantime let's see what we've got inside this egg right over here okay you can see it's pretty cool it is like bubbling and fizzing and it's, it's really awesome but first let's open this up and have a look okay seems like we have two little figures right over here we have an endoraptor and also a tyrannosaurus rex I'm gonna show you guys the latest Tyrannosaurus Rex right over here. This T-Rex is actually the new extreme chomping um, T-Rex that comes along with a vehicle. And the vehicle is actually right inside this egg. So let's reach out and grab hold of it. You can see we have plenty of um, surprises inside. So let's try to get this vehicle up. Not too sure whether we can do it. We have to open this egg up right now. It's really big, as you guys can see, a really big, big egg. So let's get this out. Okay. Alright. The vehicle is out. And let's place the um, egg right back. Plenty of cool figures. And this is a Ford Explorer that comes along with it. It's a very, very cool um, vehicle. You can see the top of it can actually be um, moved. And the door can also be open and closed. So this is a super cool looking um, Ford Explorer vehicle from the Legacy Collection. Really, really awesome. And when it comes to the Indoor Raptor, have you guys actually seen my um, new repaint of the Scorpius Rex? If you have not done so, please go and watch it, okay? Next up, let's open this and have a look at what's inside. Oh, you can see the egg is still fizzling. I think it will take some time. And the water is like slowly turning into green. Very, very cool. Let's open this up. Wow, plenty of figures and all of them are actually Jurassic Park figures if I'm not wrong. So let's see what's inside, okay? We have a baby Triceratops which looks super cute. Uh, we have a Pachycephalosaurus and we have a Pteranodon. This is actually a new figure, okay? And a new Dimorphodon. But first, let's take a look at what we've brought for a Triceratops. Are you guys able to hear the roars? Yes, you're right. This is the Sound Strike Triceratops. Let's place it right over here. We're running out of space immediately, as you guys can see. This is a super exciting video. Next up, what have we got for a Pachycephalosaurus? I think I have brought one of the latest Pachycephalosaurus figures that you can find. Um, this is not exactly the first one. This is actually a battle damage Pachycephalosaurus. Let's place it right over here, okay? But I don't want to block the fish tank. Yes, this is actually a fish tank. Next up, what about this Pteranodon? This green Pteranodon is also a brand new figure. Pteranodon is known as the Toothless Wing. And I've brought a huge Toothless Wing to show you guys. This is actually a new one. So check this out, okay? Um, the green Pteranodon, the big one and the small one. Looks really nice. Alright, I'm gonna place this right over here because we don't have much space. And what have I brought to show you guys the Dimorphodon? Um, I've actually brought this one from the Amber Collection, a Dimorphodon. Yep, that's right. So these are the little figures and the bigger figures that I've brought to show you guys. I think it's time for us to reach out and grab hold of this little bath bomb. Yes, I can see. You can see the figure it's starting to show. Yes. Yes, we've got it. 
I think we've got a Stegosaurus. Nice, nice. Let's see. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. So we have a mini Stegosaurus from Takara Tomi. Looks pretty cute. All right, it's time for us to open up another one. Maybe we should open up two in a row. Okay, maybe. All right, let's open this up. This is really fun. So I actually ordered this from like Amazon, I think. So we need to open up like two of them and just drop them all in together, shall we? All right, so I've opened up two of this and let's just drop them one by one in and hopefully we can get a different um, dinosaur in each of this bath bomb. Let me just show you guys a close-up shot of this. It's looking pretty cool. It's like fizzling and bubbling and it's, um yeah, I can't wait to see what's inside, okay? But first, let's carry on and take a look at what's hidden inside this gigantic egg. Okay. Um, got some really cool stuff to show you guys. This is actually a Jurassic World medallion of Blue the Velociraptor. I just purchased this and only 9,995 were produced worldwide, individually numbered. Pretty cool with this. I really like this a lot. I'm gonna place this on the table. Next up, shall we open up one of these packs? You know, finally we have actually gotten um, like two Parasaurolophus. I don't mind getting a you know, a third one, I think that would be really, really nice. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, we've got blue. Yes, we've got blue, the Velociraptor. So check this out. All right, gonna place this right over here. Let's open up another pack and hopefully we'll be able to get something cool. I think this should be the Pteranodon. Yeah, cause I can feel it. It's very, very flat. So I'm thinking this should be the Pteranodon. Yes, I'm right. So you guys can see, this is really the, the Pteranodon. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Have you guys seen the latest Sauropelta? I really love this. This is actually a new Fierce Force, if I'm not wrong. All right, I think we can actually take a look at what's inside this one of this. It's pretty soft right now. Okay. Oh, I think I know what we've got. It seems to be a mini Triceratops. Let's have a look. All right, it's super adorable. It's really adorable. Check this out. My hands are actually wet, but that's fine. Check this out. A mini Triceratops looks pretty adorable. Let's reach in and grab hold of um, the other one and just break it apart. I'm hoping to get a T-Rex. Oh, I know what we've got. I think we have got a Spinosaurus. Check this out, guys. A Spinosaurus, the spine lizard. I think this looks pretty cute. Not too bad. I really like this a lot. All right, I'm gonna put it um, over here. As you guys can see, my table is kind of wet. Let me just clean this up right now. All right. Let's drop two more of these surprise dinosaur eggs inside. Of course, they don't really look like eggs. They are actually circular in shape, but that's fine. Let's just drop them right in. Let's wait for it. All right, in the meantime, let's take a look at what's hidden inside this small little eggs. These are actually open, so let's take a look at what's inside this, okay? So I can see we have three Baryonyx. Are you guys able to name all three of them? Let me know down below, okay? This is the first one. I'll let you guys know what are the names slightly later, okay? The first one, which is actually green and um, brown in color. The other one is like slightly bluish and brown. The other one is like bl bright green and um, brown as well. So we have three. Baryonyx, of course, I have brought three of them to show you guys as well. The first one right here, it's actually the bright green and brown Baryonyx. So let's place this right over here. Okay, let me just try to balance it. Um, of course, we have two more. The dark green and brown one is right over here. Just place it right over here. And the other one, did I bring the other one? 
Um, oh dear, I didn't bring the other one. That's weird, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, are you guys able to tell me the names? Right now, I'm gonna reveal the names to you. This is actually Baryonyx Green. The one, the bright green. One of my most favorite one. Okay. Um, I think one of Baryonyx actually passed on in the series because it was like, you know, injured. Um, do you guys know which one is it? Let's know it down below. And this is actually Baryonyx Limbo. The blue one is actually Baryonyx Chaos, which I'm supposed to bring it today, but somehow it's not with me right now. So I beg your pardon. But that's fine. Let me just place this Baryonyx over here. All right. I think it's time for us to review what's inside. I can already see like a glimpse of it right over here. Are you able to see the glimpse of this dinosaur? It looks like a baby Ankylosaurus to me. So let's see, let's see. Let's break this open. Oh, I'm wrong. And um, this is what I've been hoping to get. Let me just clean my hands first. All right. Check this out, guys. We have a T-Rex, finally. A mini Takara Tomi T Rex. These are really, really adorable. Okay, I'm gonna place it right over here. All right, next up, let's go in and grab hold of um, the other one. Okay, where is it? Oh, yes, there it is. I can feel, I can see, and I know this should be a Brachiosaurus. Let me just clean my hands first. Once again, it's really wet. And um, take a look at this. Pretty, pretty adorable little figure right here. A Brachiosaurus. Um, it doesn't really have the significant hump on top of his head, but it should be a Brachiosaurus. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. All right, next up, let's open this. Let's open this. Oops, I'm sorry, Pachycephalosaurus. I didn't mean to knock you down. Let's pop this open. Okay, we have two herbivores. Pretty easy. Stegosaurus right here, and also Pachyrhinosaurus. Okay, of course, I have brought the exact same one to show you guys, the larger figures. Check this out. Pachyrhinosaurus right here. This is the very first Pachyrhinosaurus they actually name it a Sinoceratops, you know, from the beginning. They made a mistake and name it as a Sinoceratops. That's really, really weird. For the other Stegosaurus, I have brought the new Camp Cretaceous Stegosaurus to show you guys. I think this came along with Darius and a Ceratosaurus. Um, probably not with this Darius figure. I can't remember that there are just way too many of these human figures. But this is a beautiful one and it looks exactly the same yeah as the small one just different in size all right next up i think we have one last um bath bomb this is actually known as a bath bomb um to show you guys let's open this up seems like we have gotten um triceratops brachiosaurus t-rex um i don't think we have got oh we've got the stegosaurus as well so the last piece it should be the pteranodon wow this is, this is going to be interesting. Let's open this up, okay? All right, let's drop this right into the water tank. While we are waiting, let's have a look at what's hidden inside this last piece, okay? This last dinosaur surprise egg. Let's open this up. Wow, yes, yes, guys. Yes, this is the Paris Rollerflus, which I really love. This is actually the rare item from um, the blind bags. Yes, we finally got it. We have two pieces of them actually. Okay, this is the Parasaurolophus. first. Let me just find a space to um, um, put all these little figures, okay? We have the Seeds Mikorum, which is also a brand new release. Uh, we have the Tarbosaurus, which is also brand new. So first, let's take a look at the Tarbosaurus. Tarbosaurus should be known as the alarming lizard if I'm not wrong. Did I get this wrong? Please let me know down below, okay? You can see we have a small version versus a big version. Next, let's take a look at the Seeds Mikorum. I'm not too sure whether I, my pronunciation of this Seeds Mikorum is the perfect pronunciation, but you get the idea. 
Sips Miko Rum. I can't remember the nickname. I mean, what does the name mean for a Sips Miko Rum? Do you guys know? If you know, please let me know down below, okay? Next up, um, let's take a look. Oh, yes, what is the other one? Paris or Rollifers? We don't have one that looks, you know, exactly the same because the colors from the Camp Cretaceous Paris or Wallifers figure is actually yellow in color. Yes, really beautiful. And do you guys know that the Edmontosaurus is coming out really soon? Yes, uh, I mean um, the Oranosaurus, which is closely related to the Edmontosaurus. I have purchased it, but I'm still waiting for it to arrive. Let's get hold of this. Let's break it apart. And you can see the entire tank has turned green. Let me just clean my hands for a while before I show you guys, okay? So there you go. We have the little mini pteranodon. And I mean really, really small. You can see it's so tiny. But at the same time, it's pretty, pretty detailed, I would say. You can see um, it's nicely painted, it's nicely detailed. You can even see like texture on the wings. So it's um, pretty cool. Yeah, a pretty cool little figure. That's really nice. Next up, we are not done yet, guys. We are not done yet. There are plenty of other figures inside this box. Um, have I ever have I shown you guys? Um, oh, yes. Let's take a look at what's hidden inside this box, okay? We have a mini figure of a Ceratosaurus And of course, um, I think I've, I saw someone Are you guys able to name... Tell me the name of this little boy He was the little boy found in the first Jurassic Park movie I'll reveal the answer later on, okay? But let me know whether you guys know, okay? Ceratosaurus, have you guys seen the latest raw attack Ceratosaurus? Have you guys seen it? I've actually brought it over here to show you guys the comparison. The raw attack Ceratosaurus. Really awesome figure, really nice figure to have. I'm gonna place it right at the back. All right. Let's see what else we've got inside this. A hybrid dinosaur yes this is actually known as the um oh my goodness comstead comstanators yes comstanators is actually like a part um um part stegosaurus and part part comstanators <laughs> yes i think so i can't remember so you guys please let me know down below and this is the latest figure from uh, Mattel, one of the latest one. Okay, it's known as the Messiah Cassaurus. Really beautiful. This is my first ever Messiah Cassaurus figure. I'm gonna place it right over here. So have you guys remembered uh, the name of this team? Uh, I mean the name of this boy, his name is actually Tim. So yes, I just revealed the answer to you. Um, probably, I, mean, I think majority of you guys should not have um, seen the movie. Um, you know, before because it's like so 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 old. It's a movie which is much older than you. And this is Ali Settler, Dr. Ali Settler, which is also from um, the first movie. Okay, I'm gonna place her right over here. So we have plenty of Jurassic Park figures inside this on in today's video. To be um, honest with you, next up we have a Carnotaurus, and this is actually Carnotaurus Toro. If you take a look at the face. Oh my goodness, you can see the scar right on the right hand side of the snout on the um, of the face. And of course, I have brought Conotaurus Toro to show to you guys, okay? Check this out, you can see Conotaurus Toro. It has this really significant scar on the right hand side of um, the face. So it's basically trying to attack um, Kenji and Darius. And um, the, the gate of the cage, I mean, the fence actually went down and just gave Carnotaurus Toro a cut on the right hand side of the face. Yeah, so that's how um, he got the, the, the scar. Yeah, he or she, I, I don't even know whether Carnotaurus Toro is male or female. Next up, what else we've got inside this box? We have Owen. Owen Grady is holding a knife and he's looking really good in this um, outfit. 
Do you guys love Owen Grady? Who is your most favorite character from Jurassic World? Um, let me know. Okay, is it Owen? Is it Claire? Let me know. Okay. What else we've got? We've got a um posture suckers. You know, I've actually brought the same one to show you guys. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. I like I love how they actually crafted and sculpted um, the smaller version to be exactly the same as the, the larger version. Yeah, really nice. Next up, we have one of our most favorite um, figures, the Indominus Rex. You can see it has a shiny sheen on his body. And speaking of the Indominus Rex right over here, we have the Extreme Damage Indominus Rex. Check this out guys. It comes with this battle damage uh, mechanism on his body. So once you press it, the body will spin. There's another button right behind the tail. So once you press this, the jaw will move. So it's really nice. It doesn't have the colors like um, the grab and ground. I mean, like the, like the destroy and devour in Dominus Rex. But overall, it's, it's pretty awesome. What else we've got? Oh yes, I wanted to show you guys. Um, the Jurassic Park Carnotaurus as well in comparison with Carnotaurus Toro. So this is actually known as um, Carnotaurus Demon, one of my most favorite Jurassic Park figures because it is so vintage, it is so cool. Um, it's pretty expensive if, if you want to get this in like mint condition. It could probably cost you like a um, thousand dollars and above, probably even up to like eight grand yes this is how expensive it is right now because it is so rare all right next up what else we've got let's reach out and grab hold of um, some figures okay we have um a spinosaurus and um we also have brumpy yep so for spinosaurus this is actually a jurassic park 3 spinosaurus and i've actually brought a spinosaurus to show you guys and i actually place it right on the floor so I'm gonna pick it up and show it to you guys so that we can have a look together, okay? This is also from Jurassic Park 3. So Jurassic Park 3, there are like plenty of um, Spinosaurus. Um, yeah, it comes with a button right here. And um, yes, this is it. Looks really nice. Let's see what else we've got inside this box. We have a Pteranodon. Yes, that's right, a Pteranodon. And speaking of Pteranodons, yes, we have brought plenty of pteranodons right over here to show it to you guys we are not done yet because i have some other figures to show you guys i'm gonna show you guys a do you guys know the name of this grandfather this grandpa okay he's actually john hammond um he's like the founder the creator of jurassic park you know his um, vision was to you know bring the dinosaurs back to life just gonna place it right over here. I'm gonna show you guys more cool stuff. Okay. What is this? Stegoceratops. A part Stegosaurus and part Pseudoceratops. I think it is not related to the Triceratops, but the Pseudoceratops because of these two horns right over here. And um, it definitely resembles a Pseudoceratops more than um, the Triceratops. So this is a hybrid. I really love all these hybrids and hopefully I'm not too sure, maybe Mattel can come out with more hybrids. I think that would be really cool. Come out with a Jurassic World Alive series. I think that will be amazing. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you guys one of my most favorite non-dinosaur dinosaur. What does that even mean? Okay, this is not exactly a dinosaur because this is like a prehistoric animal known as Scudosaurus. Really love this figure. I'm hoping to get a bigger figure, if not, Get a repaint, I think that would be really nice. Perhaps we can do the repaint ourselves. And we have Bumpy right over here. Of course, I've brought you no know, big Bumpy to show you guys. Okay, this is not exactly big Bumpy. This is actually um, a raw revolver. I beg your pardon, okay? Uh, not, not Bumpy. I didn't bring the right one to show you guys. So I beg your pardon. All right, what else we've got? We've got two last figures to show you guys. And I want you guys to let me know who you guys love more from Cam Cretaceous. Do you guys like Kenji more? Do you guys like Darius? I love both of them. But if I have to choose one, I'm definitely going with Darius. He's such a nice boy with such good leadership. You know, never gives up. And um, but Kenji is so loyal to his friends. 
and, and yes, it's, it's hard to choose between these two. I just love both of them. What about you guys? I can't wait for the new season of Camp Cretaceous to be out. And yes, I think that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I um, enjoyed making it, okay? It's really fun hatching this egg from this water tank. So let me know down below which one is your most favorite um, dinosaur in this video. Oh yes, we haven't talked about the two gigantic colossal dinosaur figures right at the back. We have Super Colossal Indominus Rex and Super Colossal Carnotaurus. Who do you guys like more? Who do you guys like more? Left or right? What do you like in the middle? Dan Surprise. Yes, that's my new little logo right at the back. Alright, thanks for watching this. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it. Drop us a comment and I'll try my best to reply to you as soon as possible, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.